starts with a, another project for in the workshop here. And uh, I got to give credit where credit is due. And I owe this to uh, Kyle at Spicer Designs. Buddy and I were talking and he said that he's going to be making a cart out of, uh, well, it's a toolbox cart that he bought. And I don't want to give it all away, but uh, it gave me the idea to try and uh, organize two carts here that I had. And I've got it tore apart a little bit because I've already started on this. And this is my welder cart. And this is my plasma cutter cart. And what I want to do is I've had this cart here and it's got a quarter inch metal plate on the top of it. And I used to use this just to do quick welding projects on. And it always sat underneath my uh, workbench over here beside my, uh, my bigger welding table that has the fixturing holes and the exhaust hood and everything else for it. But uh, got to looking at this and I thought, well, if I take and put some rails in it for a shelf, I can put my welder on and my plasma cutter on and kind of consolidate everything down to one cart. So that's what I'm doing here, see how it works out. Now what I'm gonna do with this is, it'll house the welder and plasma cutter and then I'll have some of the expendables under here, the tips and cutters and things like that, along with hoping to be able to put my welding helmet under there, gloves and some of the things that are on the welder's cart. I need to create something off the back of this for that uh, bottle to sit on it. And uh, then if I've got a quick welding project, I already have a surface available because I've already got the welder pulled out. Rather than pulling out that cart and then having to pull out my welding table. I've got my uh, gas bottle here for my welder. And I need to, like I said, make a mount on the back of the cart for this thing. But I need to figure out what that diameter is. And I want to show you guys a little trick that I learned a long time ago. And it works out very well when you have something very large. And you don't have calipers that fit around it. You take this particular square here and this one here. And you make yourself a set of calipers with it. Set it onto the, the flat edge down there. Now you've got a sliding set of calipers and that particular bottle measures seven inches so pretty simple and uh, works great for uh, drain pipes and um, a lot bigger stuff that you can't get a set of calipers on so there's your tip for the day i got my uh four pieces cut out here and this is the long rail here and here that is going to go up under part of the way 12 inches get welded onto the bottom of that then it'll come out five more inches. And then this square pocket here down inside is going to be where the seven inch diameter bottle sticks or sits. And then I'm just going to put a rail across here and across here. And what that'll do is it'll hold the bottom of the bottle up. So let's go ahead and get this thing tacked up. The upper rails cut out now and it's going to get welded up under here with the two legs coming out the crossbar which will stop the back side of the bottle with two legs coming out and i'm just going to create a strap that goes around it to pull that bottle in and hold it tight
decided I need to weld this thing outside because the underside of this pan has got a lot of that yellow paint on it. And when it penetrates that heat down through, it burns that paint and just smokes like crazy. So you should see smoke rolling out from up under this thing. So move the cart outside here where I can uh, not worry about all the smoke that comes off of it. It was just a little too much of an area for it coming out under there to uh, catch it with my uh, fume extractor. So we'll go ahead and get this thing tacked up now. platform welded on and it's more than plenty strong but here's the thing that I'm worried about is that if I get too much weight it gets tippy back there so I've got a quick simple solution for that I'm going to weld a pivoting caster wheel underneath the back side of that down there and now when that thing pivots or runs around it will pivot where I need it but it'll also give it that support that I'm looking for. So now I can stand here and bounce and it won't tip over on me. So that's just a, uh, an, a side effect of having that bottle hang out over a shorter cart. And uh, with that pivoting caster under there, now it'll turn and run everywhere I need it to go, but it won't let the whole cart tip over. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that tacked on down there. Well, and there you go, my anti-tip over caster. So it'll pivot back here. So anytime I turn, this caster will turn with the front casters and shouldn't tip the cart over. So now I need to uh, flip this over and figure out where the bottle location goes down so I can weld this upper bracket on down there underneath. And we should be just about all done with that part of it. And yes, I did weld this off center because the welder is over on this side and I wanted to leave access over here for the airline. And once I get it all together, I'll show you that later. All right, I'm just moving right along here on this. So I think now you can see the bottle sits down in there, comes up around here, and then I'm going to have a strap hook into the side of the hole there, come around and that'll hold the bottle from tipping out of there. Got my caster wheel down there. And if you see, I put some expanded metal down there. That is because every time you get a bottle, you have a cap. And if you don't have a place for it, it'll come up missing. So put some expanded metal in there off of the lower rail. And now I've got a place to keep that cap that goes on the top of the bottle there. And just store it down in there when uh, the bottle's in use. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this thing down with some uh, acetone, get it all cleaned up, put a couple coats of paint on it, and boom, it's all painted up. Some old BMX bicycle foot pegs for doing tricks, well, they have become handles now. Anytime you come out with a handle on any type of cart, and especially if you're using it for a welding cart, that handle that runs across here tends to always get in the way when you're trying to clamp down parts. So I know I didn't want anything in the way there for when I'm doing welding, I wanna clamp something down. So just a simple little post. And boy, these uh, foot pegs, I guess they were worth keeping. under there they're on their uh, 
little shelf that I made. Both sides, there's easy accessible to all the controls here, all the controls here. The only thing I've got to do is come around this side when I turn it on, just reach back here to turn the power on. Not sure why they would have put it on the back side of a welder when everything else is controlled out front here. Sure would have made more sense to put the on off switch somewhere up front like they do on the uh, plasma cutter. Let's go ahead and get the bottle on this cart and come up with some uh, hose management. Well, I'm all done fabricating all the brackets and everything that I possibly could think of or wanted for this cart. Uh, Autumn's going to help me do the video today, so if you would, tell her hello in the comments and tell her you missed seeing her on the videos. But I want to go through and explain all this of what I've done and how I look at organization as more of flow than just finding a spot for something. It has to actually work for where you decide to store it. First thing I'd like to talk about is this cart itself. I showed you guys in the beginning of the video what this was and what it looked like, and now you're getting a chance to see it completed. But one of the benefits to this now is, is when I pull my welder out, I instantly have a place to weld onto without needing to pull out my other welding table if I'm just gonna do a quick weld job. But one of the benefits to this particular setup that I have where I'm storing the welder and the plasma cutter under here is that now this tabletop actually covers those and keeps them from getting dirty. Before they used to sit on their own individual carts and the dirt grit grime would always end up on top of those welders and the plasma cutter. So that's a benefit there. Um, Another thing that I did is we talked about the cable management and you've seen in part of the video where I bent up these brackets and I made some for the other sides too. These are the cables specifically for the welder and when I want to pull this out to weld something, there's my welder gun and here's my welder ground. I've put pegs down at the bottom and when I'm done, this all will just wrap up and around that. I tried to make sure that everything stayed within flush or as close to it as I could on the cart on both sides. So when I wheel this in and out, I store it back there. I can't have the cables getting snagged on the garage door or the handles of the mill or anything like that. So it was very important that I kept all the cables and everything tight to the cart. And that's where a lot of this was stems from was searching or looking or a place to put something. When you're in the middle of a project, there's been so many times when I'll be welding, I'll take my glasses off, set it down here, or I'm welding something up and I have to drape this across here or find a way to hold that, set that down and you bump that trigger and don't realize it and you just ran about a foot of, foot of MIG wire out. One thing I did on this cart that accompanies my other welding cart is I drilled a three quarter inch hole through that so I can put my fume extractor on here if I'm welding something. And trust me, we're gonna be getting to the good stuff here in a minute. But when you have to change wire or do something in on the, the welder here, I took two of the rare earth magnets that I've had and, and I've used these on a lot of things. If you guys watched my uh, the Harbor Freight uh, press video there, I used it on that. But when I do this, now with this welder being underneath the cart, I would have had to sit here and hold this up to try and change the wire. These magnets, I've put them on there and they stick right to the top, very strong. So that holds that door up so now I can do whatever I need to do there. Just a couple simple rare earth magnets on that. And I use this stuff here, nozzle gel, tip dip, whatever. But what you do with this stuff, and pay attention to what I'm doing here. Two hands, one to hold the jar, one to open it. You take that tip, you dip it in there and it keeps the splatter from getting built up in there. Here's what I always found is when I was welding something, I had to put the gun down, uns unscrew this, take this off, set it somewhere to 
take now and put the tip in there to get that clean. So what I did was I took a couple uh, horseshoes, welded them up. I bent up a piece of uh, flat steel, put that in there. And now it goes on the bottle right there. So now I can reach over with one hand while I've still got the other one with the gun in it, dip it in, put it back on. Good to go. When you have welding pliers and you use these quite often to cut off the end of your, your wire and start over, usually what happens is those get laid down, they get put somewhere. If you come over here, I bolted a magnet to the side of the cart. Now when I need to use my welder pliers, they're always right there. Stick to the cart, don't lose them. Put them back where they go, so there's a spot for it. Now's where I wanna get into the fun thing that uh, took me a little while to come up with these different things. And as I'm welding or doing my work here, I'm thinking, okay, I, I you know, when I'm welding, I take my helmet off a lot. I take my welding glasses off a lot, switch them over with my regular bifocal safety glasses and take my gloves off and everything else. So here's what happens when I'm welding is I take my helmet off and I got to find a place to set it. I got to drape the, the gun over the table. Gloves end up somewhere, you know, they're in the way. And oh, every once in a while you wear your welding jacket and you need a place to put that. So what I did here is amongst all the other attachments I made for it, I made this bracket that comes up here. And this thing does a whole bunch of stuff. So first, it gives me a place to hold my welding jacket. Before, the welding jacket used to be across the shop on a coat hook. I have to walk over there, get that, come back, and it was just the flow or the motion of doing things or I get done welding. I want that coat to be somewhere close. Take it off, put it there. We're at a point where when I take everything off to finish up welding, I need a place or needed a place to hang my welder's helmet. So I put it there now. And here's the really cool thing about this is, is when I'm welding, sometimes I'm out here with a, a hat on, I need to switch to put my helmet on. I can do that real quick and easy. Uh, a lot of times I'll go ahead and take off my safety glasses. So I need to switch and I'm gonna keep these here. So now I can switch and put these on, drop down and do my welding. So the concept or the thought of where to put these things so they're easily accessible was pretty simple. Put my hand on. Now here's something that I bent up that's uh, very multi-purpose and I thought it actually is one of those things that kind of made me smile. So Autumn, if you come in here close, you can see what I did is, is I welded a small little nub off the back, put a hole in it, and this fits down in there and it pivots. Why it pivots is because I didn't want it hanging out over the side of the cart when I go to wheel it away. So a couple things left that I talked about is when I'm done welding, I usually was throwing my gloves down there on the bench. Well, now I hang my gloves up here. And in order to keep those out of the way, I swing that around and now they're out of the way when I go ahead and put the cart back. So again, Everything's right here and accessible, and you'll see how they bend out and miss the, miss the safety glasses and everything else. And uh, I promise there's one last pretty cool thing here. So if I'm welding and I'm, and I'm doing my thing and finished up welding, I need a place to hang this because I'm not done for the day. Well, I made a little spot right there. Normally, when you finish up welding, you're looking for a place to lay this thing down across the table. I can just put that right up there, and it's very easily accessible, easy to reach, and easy to get to. But it didn't stop there because if I'm not welding or if I'm using the plasma cutter, let me grab that handle real quick. So if I'm out welding, not only does that hold my uh, welding gun, but it also holds my plasma gun. That's why there's two separate notches. The smaller hole here is for the gun 
And this, the upper notch is for the plasma cutter. So as I'm doing my work and I need to set that gun down, I've got a place to hang it instead of laying it across the table. All right, so I think I've uh, outfitted this card exactly how I wanted it for my needs. And now I've got uh, two pieces of equipment on one cart. I eliminated two junkier carts and everything's all put away. And I can store my stuff there, swing that out of the way, wheel her in. And just like that, the cart was basically made to fit into that corner and also to accompany every need that I have. So I guess let me know what you thought about the cart as well as uh, if, you gave you, if it gave you any ideas and uh, let me know what you thought about it. So give me a thumbs up, drop some comments, hit that subscribe button, all the fun stuff we always ask you guys to do. And I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.